Hello, this is Walker Physics, fourth edition. We're in chapter six on applications in Newton's laws, and we're in the end of the chapter questions on the section of circular motion. This is question 61. As you ride on a Ferris wheel, your apparent weight is different at the top than at the bottom. Explain. In the B part, calculate your apparent weight at the top or the bottom of the Ferris wheel given 7.2 meter radius and one revolution every 28 seconds and your mass is 55. Oh, okay. Well, first of all, let me complete the picture so I can have a picture. I'm interested at the top and the bottom and I'm also interested in apparent weight. You know that your weight is mg and that doesn't change. Your weight is the same at the top of the circle as the bottom. So you're not really interested in mg. You're interested instead in what you feel your weight to be. And that, that is what's pushing on you from your chair. So your chair pushes up hard, you feel heavy. If your chair pushes up light, you feel light. So what you really ask is about the normal force or your support force. And those do change depending on where you are since you're moving in a circle. Okay, so let's do some, let's do some uh, forces. I'm not interested in mg coming down. I want the normal force, and the normal force is equal to mg, okay? So the normal force is equal to mg in both cases. So imagine that it was not moving at the top, not moving at the top, I would weigh mg. My support force, I would feel like I was weighing mg. At the bottom, if it were not moving, I would still feel like I'm moving mg. Okay, or weigh mg. So the normal force is some, some change of, of mg, mg plus something or mg minus something. So if we were to say take at the top, we're going to say that it is mg, which is the normal force or the equal to the normal force, okay, and some modification. And then at the bottom, also mg with some modification. We'll, mod we'll see modifications next. We know that if this circle is moving, I've got an additional force, and it's called centripetal force, and it's the same as Newton's F equals ma, except that the acceleration is the acceleration towards the center of the circle. There is an acceleration towards the center of the circle as it's moving. Your centripetal acceleration is equal to the square of your velocity over your radius. Okay, so it has something to do with your speed. So the faster you are moving, the more you are uh, accelerating in towards the, uh, towards the center at all times. Your velocity is constantly changing. That's what's giving you an acceleration. See, the, your, your speed might not be changing, but since your direction is changing every second, you're accelerating. Okay, it's an acceleration, it's centripetal, and it's towards the center. If this is towards the center, that's a vector, that means that this is also towards the center. Okay, so you're going to have a centripetal force heading this way and this way. So what does that mean? That means these two are opposite. So at the top, I have mg minus your uh, centripetal force, and at the bottom, I have mg plus your centripetal force, okay? Well, your centripetal force is m, equal, m times a, and a is, m, is v squared over r. So I've got mg minus m v squared over r, and mg plus m v squared over r. All right, so let's start putting in some numbers. I've got r, okay? r is... 7.2, let's find velocity. My velocity is my distance over my time, okay? So my distance is 2 times pi times the radius, okay? 2, two pi r, and my time is 28 seconds. That gives me 1.62 meters per second as my speed, okay? And so 1.62, sorry about that, goes in for V, 7.2 goes in for R, 55 goes in for M. So let's find out what that is. 
have 1.62 squared divided by 7.2 times 55, okay? All right. That means that I have mg plus 20.0475 and mg minus 20.0475. And so what is mg? m is 55 times 9.81 is, so this is 539.55, 539.55, right? Minus 20.0475, so at the top, it's 519.5 newtons, because that's subtracted. And at the bottom, 539.55 plus 20.0475 is 559.5 newtons. So I guess this would be 560 newtons. Round to two, this would be 520 newtons round to two, okay? Very tough question, extremely tough, awful, yucky question. Glad we're done.